Xi Jinping leads the world's largest political party with over 89 million members. And the opening of the 19th CPC National Congress in a three and a half hour, 33,000 Chinese character speech, he mapped out China's path for the next three decades. What are the theories and actions that will propel China into the future? This is Xinhua Special, and I'm Helen Bentley. For the past five years, China has contributed 30% to global growth and lifted over 60 million people out of poverty. Xi called these achievements across the board and pioneering, and said the changes were profound and fundamental. Straight off the bat, the tone of his speech was made clear from the very first few minutes. To start with, Xi Jinping declared a new era for socialism with Chinese characteristics. This new era is defined by four goals. A moderately prosperous society, and later a great modern socialist country, a dream of national rejuvenation, and a rising power on the international stage. Xi champions mutual respect dialogue over confrontation and partnerships over alliances to pave the way for what he calls a community of shared future for mankind. In terms of national security, the military must advance with the times. In fact, China's armed forces are going through a period of modernization. And the point of this, she said, was to have a world-class army by the middle of the century. China's Communist Party was guided by Marxist-Leninism, Mao Zedong thought, Deng Xiaoping theory, the theory of the three represents, and the scientific outlook on development. But as the party and the country enter a new era, she has proposed a new theory that he's described as Marxism of the 21st century. Or you could look at it as socialism with Chinese characteristics, version 2.0. At its core is a new call to action building China into a prosperous, strong, democratic, culturally advanced, harmonious and beautiful country by the middle of the century. Or what Xi Jinping has called a great modern socialist China. This new theory for this new era aims to solve the inadequate development in democracy, rule of law, fairness and justice, security and a better environment. Xi refers to this as the principal contradiction warning that any harm that we inflict on the environment will come back to haunt us. She called for conservation across the board, no over-exploitation and low-carbon development. Also, to ignite the cultural creativity of the nation, she celebrated the principle of allowing a hundred flowers to bloom and a hundred schools of thought to contend. And of course, this new iteration of socialism with Chinese characteristics emphasizes the CPC's absolute leadership, which relies on the party's commitment to purifying, improving and reforming itself. She said that the wheels of history roll on and the hesitant, apathetic or shy will not be looked upon kindly. Finally, she emphasized the role of the youth in achieving the ambitious goal of national rejuvenation. She said that a great cause calls for strong leadership and a nation will only prosper if its younger generation thrives. The Chinese dream, he said, may be a dream of his generation, but it spans the past, the present and the future. And it will be handed down and continued by the youth of today. I'll see you next time.